Good morning, I'm Gabriel DePlano, Vice President of Military Sales and Marketing at Beretta USA. And we're here today at SHOT Show 2014 to show you our new ARX Intelligent Rail System. This is a partnership with T-Works Ventures. Uh, Beretta and T-Works are developing a very, very innovative system that allows you to transfer both data and power through the rails of the assault rifle to any accessory that is attached to those rails. This gives us many, many advantages, especially to the warfighter. The first thing we can do is we can integrate, in the buttstock in this case, we can integrate standard AA battery pack. The AA is important because that battery can be found anywhere in the world very easily and sourced very easily. So it really minimizes the logistics, logistic impact of the system. This battery pack, as you can see from this breadboard, would basically then power the rail. Along this rail, I can introduce as many accessories as I want. In this case, I have a, a sample control pad, which is user programmable. So the user can, in this case, program up to four buttons to do certain things. In this case, we have a mock-up. We have a flashlight up front. By simply pushing a battery, uh, excuse me, pushing the button, as you can see, you can easily activate whatever is attached to the rail. The gr another great advantage is that by having these accessories powered by a central battery pack, you now are able to remove the battery housings on the accessories, so you'll be reducing weight. So in this case, you can see here, we have a Surefire battery, uh, flashlight head attached to our adapter, and you'll be able to use existing uh, legacy products such as the Surefire or other accessories that are on the market and simply attach them very easily to the rail wherever you need it. Another great advantage of the system is that now instead of having four accessories on your gun with four different batteries, some of which are, are uh, you know, can be exotic batteries that are not easy to obtain, I now have again standard AA batteries that, that you can find anywhere. I mentioned power a lot, let me also talk to you about data. The great thing about this rail is that you'll be able to interconnect all your accessories. So an obvious example would be a laser rangefinder. A laser rangefinder, which I can position in the front rail, will now be able to communicate the range data back to my optics. For, for example, we have a, a scope on, um, our sister company Steiner has a scope in the works with a disturbed reticle. That disturbed reticle will be able to move and adjust based on the range of the target. Another application for data transfer would be by using the transferring the video signal or an image back to a transmitter, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth transmitter, which would, could then transfer that data off gun to either a head mounted unit uh, of the soldier or possibly even back, uh, back to headquarters. So the possibilities are almost endless. It's really a, a very modular platform. This platform, by the way, is being uh, adopted by NATO as a new NATO standard rail. So it'll be an, become a NATO standard. And the US Army, through a, 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 a small business program and T-Works, is also funding the effort, uh, the R&D effort, and will be adopting it, more, more than likely adopting it as, as its standard as well. So what that means, obviously, is, is standardization, so that all industry then can focus on making accessories for these uh, intelligent rails. The project is under development now. Uh, by September of this year, September 2014, we hope to have the first five functional and fi fireable uh, samples. We'll be introducing, uh, hopefully then in 2015, introducing the first uh, production version of this, of this uh, system. The, what you see here are different uh, control panel options. These are obviously mock-ups just for form, uh, form factor mock-ups. These will allow us to decide and also give the user the ability to either select different types of control panels, again, all of them user, user programmable for the position. So in this case, for example, we have one pad here that would be activated with your thumb, with your support thumb, and you could activate up to three buttons. Here I have another pad that would be actually clipping in, snapping into the rear of the rail, and this would be more operated possibly, it could be operated on either side, and could be operated by either your thumb or your fingers. And here's another example of a, a, a pad, which could also be inserted on the side. 
Again, all depending on user preference and hand location, because what we want to do is we want to tailor the gun, obviously, to the soldier's needs uh, and not the reverse. The unit is going to expand over time. Here we have a mock-up, just obviously, as you can see, a lot of, obviously, a lot of gadgets attached to this rail, a lot of possibilities, lasers, illuminators, red dot sights, uh, data transfer modules, battery packs. Uh, because the battery power can be transferred either way, the other nice thing about the system is if for some reason you should run out of batteries in the, in the stock, you could simply clamp on a battery pack anywhere along the rails because the power and the data go both ways. So again, a lot of also redundancy can be built in. We can reduce the weight now considerably because we've taken a lot a lot of the redundant batteries, a lot of the redundant battery uh, uh, compartments off the gun. We've integrated everything into the design of the gun, and so there are no wires, nothing hanging out, and no extra weight uh, being added. So overall, what, we'll, what we have here is a very, very modular electronic uh, system that will give the warfighter extra capabilities in the future. Thank you.